about Isaac Newton's life and no this great mathematician had some life secrets and some things which uh, should be known to his life this great mathematician astronomer theologist and many more achievement uh, achievement arrived people and he is a very great person and he is actually a philosopher also a natural philosopher let's know about his life so here's what today's video is about isaac newton's life his parents his family his wife so birthplace of isaac newton was uh, in england leonshire england he was born in 4th january 1643 His early life, from the age about twelve until seventeen, Newton was educated in King's School, Grantham. In June sixteen sixty one, he was admitted to Trinity School College, Cambridge, on recommendation of his uncle Ray William Ascough, who studied there. He was awarded a scholarship there. He was awarded a scholarship there and granting him means guaranteeing him four more years. Actually, granting him for more four more years, he could get his M.A. So actually, his uncle Rave William means recommended him that he should go to this college because he also was studied over here only. He was then in it was all held in June sixteen sixty one, and in that year he was granting for him four more years. Until he could complete his M.A. His family life was a very uh, type of thing. So Isaac Newton, his father was also named. His name was Isaac Newton. He died three months before. Born prematurely, Newton was a child. When Newton was three, his mother remarried a new husband and lived with him, Reverend Barnes Smith. Newton disliked his first stepfather and maintained some enmity. So he was his new father, and he uh, maintained some enmity to him, and because he disliked him, and the new father was Reverend Barnes Smith. So let's move on to his family members, and know what were the things. His parents were Isaac Newton, as I told you before. Only Isaac Newton and his father pronunciation is very similar, but there is a small spelling difference, so you should know it. Hannah Asker was a mother, and Reverend Barnes Smith was a stepfather. He had no wife, although he claimed that he was once engaged, but Isaac Newton never had married anyone. Anyone, so he didn't have. His Wife and family. So let's move on to the next part of his life. Some discoveries. The most uh, famous discovery of Newton was the three laws of motion, so the foundation of the modern classical mechanics. So it was a very famous law, three laws of motion. Newton's magnus opus, then laws of gravitation, inquiry to the nature of light optics, binomial theorem, and calculus. were the very famous discoveries made by Isaac Newton because he was a great mathematician and he had a very good knowledge on it so let's move on to the next part of his life and let's know that discoveries which he made the three laws of motion and about the calculus and the optics Newton as a mathematician and a physics he was a great person and he knew a new field he actually pulled up a new field of mathematics in mechanics and physics the three laws of motion the three laws are every object moves in a straight line unless accepted upon by a force the alexation of an object is directly proportional to the net force exerted and inversely proportional to the object's mass the third law is for every action there is an equal or opposite reaction 
So these were the things which was founded by Newton. Now the optics. In 1666, Newton began to contribute in the field of optics. First, by observing the color was property of light by measuring it through a prism. From 1670 to 1672, he lectured at the University of Cambridge on optics and investigated and reflection of light, demonstrating that that it was a multicolor that uh, demonstrating that the multicolor spectrum produced by the prism. So in the optics, he wrote a book also, which was written by him only. So in this optics, he found out the observing absorption of observation actually was of the property of light. Now let's move to the calculus. Newton came to know about the calculus as a part of the investigation in physics and geometry. He viewed that calculus as a specific scientific description of generation of motion and magnitude. In comparison of Leibniz focused on the targeting tangent problem, tangent problem, and came to believe that the calculus was a metaphysical explanation of change. So this was about the calculus. Now let's move to the gravity, one of the very famous things which is founded by Newton, had a very predictable story also, which I'll tell you. Newton set forth to the idea of gravity was predictable force. Newton published that his theory of universal gravitation in 1680s. It is basically set forth the idea that the gravity was a predictable force that acts on all matter in the universe and functions both mass and distance. So in this, let's move to the next thing. So uh, it has a very beautiful story about how Newton found out the gravity and which will be told in this video only. So please watch the whole one. So this gravity was a very predictable force founded by Newton. And this Newton actually published it in the year. Apple tree. So it is a very famous story that once uh, Newton was standing or sitting near an apple tree or a fruit tree actually. So when the fruit fell off from the tree, he observed that why it's falling off the fruit tree. He actually noticed it and then he found out the law of gravitation. Newton himself told, often told the story that he was inspired to formulate his theory of gravitation by watching the fall of an apple from a tree. The story is believed that to have to pass into popular knowledge after being related by Catherine Batten, Newton Nice to Voltaire. Voltaire then wrote his essay on the epic poetry 1727. So it was uh, a popular uh, discussion of popular knowledge people came to know about it when it was described in an essay an epic poetry essay on epic poetry and this was measured in it so this was came to the knowledge of the people when they know knew that newton found something new and something interesting called as gravity and what gave him idea a apple or a fruit tree so it was a very beautiful knowledge which was Newton having and it was a popular knowledge after being related by Catherine Batten. So let's move on to the next one of Newton's life. So let's talk about the later life of Newton. So later life of Newton is the next thing. Later life in the 1690s, Newton wrote a number of religious tracts as he was a great author and philosopher, dealing the literal and the symbolic interpretation of Bible. A manuscript of Newton sent to John Locke and Johnny, comma, and the fidelity of the original manuscript of the New Testament remained unpublished until 1785. It may be that it was released after those years. After 1785, it may be released or published. He had a great knowledge of philosophy and uh, author. Author-wise also, he was a great author also. So he, when in his later life, in 1690s, he tried to write some of the religious text, tracts, tracts, Dealing with the literal and things. Personal relationships. 
Newton had a close friendship with Swiss mathematician Nicholas Fatio de Tuller, when whom he met in London around June 12. Their relationship came to be an abrupt and unexplained end in 1693, and at the same time Newton suffered from nervous breakdown. So it was a very bad thing for him. Enlightenment philosophy or philosophers. Enlightenment philosopher chose a short history of scientific predecessors, Galileo, Bolle, and Newton, principally as the guides and grantors of the application of the singular concept of the nature and the natural law of the f- every physical and social field of the day. In respect of the lesson, respect of the lesson of the history and the social structure built upon it could be discarded. So let's move on to alchemy. Alchemy in the character of the motion operarily in the poor Superman, 1951. Superlative fiction author Fritz Leber says the Newton. Everyone knows Newton as a great scientist, but few remember that he spent his life, his life, murdering with the alchemy, looking for the philosopher's stone that was a pebble by Shishore. He really wanted to find it. So this was the alchemy. His death. Newton died in his sleep in London 20 March 1727. His bo- body was buried was buried in Westermas Abbey. So he had a mask, a death mask, which was on the left side, if you can see the picture. And in the right side is a burial place. He buried in London Abbey, Westminster. And he was died in his sleep only uh, in London, 20 March 1727. His body was buried in Westminster Abbey. Uh, and this is the whole video about hope you like the video uh, and please like subscribe and share my video comment too and meet you in the next video thank you for watching really thank you for watching and bye uh, of course we will discover more things if you like my subscripts subjects and uh, view all my channels so hope you like the video meet you in the next video thank you for watching and bye thank you